from the lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share effortless ideas for entertaining, easy recipes, home decor, and so much more that celebrate everyday life. Today, I'm sharing our lake cottage living room with you. This room is almost complete, but it's been the most exciting and fun to do here at Calm Water Cottage. And the reason for that is, is I love a great transformation. The moment we walked into this home when we purchased it, we felt like this would be a really great open living space without requiring too much effort and cleanup because um, it feels a lot larger than it is because the kitchen is just feet away from the living room and it's all open in one area. So one of the things that we really wanted to do to embrace that and make it feel even bigger was remove the wallpaper and paint the walls in a nice warm green. We went a little creamier down here because there is so much natural light. So it really afforded the opportunity to go a little deeper in color and when the light fills up the room, it looks like a very warm white. Another thing that we wanted in here was a lot of seating. That way when we're entertaining guests, we have plenty of space to seat everyone. And we did that by kind of creating a seating area instead of putting the sofa and the chairs on opposite ends of the room, we brought them in so we could bring people together. And we purchased an oversized coffee table, which is one of my favorite pieces in this house, um, to kind of bring everyone together. And the original intent was to have two chairs on either side, the sofa, and then these stools. That way those can be folded and stowed away when the girls do their gymnastics but also offers additional seating when needed. Unfortunately, things don't always work out to plan. We purchased the sofa and chairs at Ikea, and we kept waiting and waiting and waiting for another chair to come in. And after several phone conversations with them, we were assured another one would come, and it turned out nine months later, they admitted that they had been discontinued. So we are always on the search for a Jenny Lund chair if anyone has one they can spare, but until then, we are rethinking ideas of how we can make the most of the situation, whether we get two different chairs for one side and we use one in the bedroom or something like that. So sometimes you just have to be flexible in your design. The chairs were really inexpensive and Ikea and slip covered, which makes them easy to clean. And you know my motto, entertaining and design that celebrates everyday life, and a big part of that for me is just effortless design. When we blend function and design together, it's just heavenly for me. And that's exactly what happens with slip covers because somebody spills a glass of red wine, not saying who that might be, you can just toss it into the washing machine and you're good to go. That's one of my favorite features in here, but we blended that low, the low price point with something high and our splurge was the coffee table. It brings in a lot of texture, kind of that like easy beachy modern style that I wanted for this space. It also offers plenty of room for everyone to kick up their feet or to put their glasses. And some reading materials down below, which I'm kind of working on styling this still. We purchased two nesting end tables. However, we didn't think about how they would react to the carpet. And one tilts forward. So we're kind of working on a fix for that, but they make really beautiful modern side tables and were a nice purchase at an outlet store near us and love them. One of the biggest transformations in any space that you can make is lighting. And that was another splurge that we made in this home is our lighting. And originally there was a ceiling fan in here. It wasn't very dramatic. It was just a couple feet from the ceiling. And we added this fixture and voila, it just really transformed the space. So paint, lighting, and flooring are always the places that you look to for a really quick fix um, to transform it. And the floors, we had replaced the dated carpeting with a more modern carpet using patterns. I'll link to that in the description below. But that really lightened and brightened up the space a lot. It is so soft on foot, really fun for the girls to run around and play but also easy to maintain because it's stain master. A few other elements of design we have in here are lots of pillow covers. I'll link to that in the description below of how I put them together, but I really had fun with them in this room and I loved that I didn't, sometimes I love not repeating a pillow and I did that here on the sofa. 
but I did on the chairs. I did lots of repeats. The paisley pattern, black print, pillows. The art, again, we integrated old and new, and we have this old painting that we love from Martha's Vineyard. It's an antique, just kind of reminds us of our time there and our love for water. And then I framed a couple of photographs of the bridge that has been buried underneath another bridge, which is newer, before the lake flooded. So it's a nice conversation piece and it's personal to the space in the area, but it's not too personal, which makes your guests feel really welcome. And another piece of art that we included was just a print from Etsy, I think it was $5, but I put it in a frame in front of our speaker. So it really disguises that and adds another little design element. And you never know what lies beneath. And in ours, it's a wine fridge. So it's really convenient because it's next to the kitchen. So it's easy to pull out and pour a glass of wine and stow it away and hidden as well. And of course, a living room at the bank. Our living room at the cottage would not be complete without a bar cart. We don't mix up a lot of cocktails at home, but we sure do down here at the lake house. You'll often find me making a skinny margarita, which again, I'll link to in the description below. So as you see, we had blended a lot of high and low, a little bit of old with a lot of new, and added in some texture and just a hint of color in the pillow covers. And something else you'll notice is lots of little details because I wanted to keep the space simple. So I integrated little details like a zipper, a zipper or tassels, but really wanted to keep the space very minimal, very modern, and let the people be the color in the conversation. For more easy ideas, you can click subscribe and see me at least once a week here at Julie Blanner on YouTube. Thanks so much for following along. I look forward to seeing you again soon.